The gunpowder barrel is the most devastating item in Sea of Thieves. Capable of turning losing battles in your favor, sinking ships, and killing entire enemy crews in one blast, it is a true game changer, but is as deadly to you as it is to your opponents. Today we present to you this ultimate guide to gunpowder barrels. With its distinct red coloring, Bone X symbol, and Merchant Alliance logo, the gunpowder barrel is a collectible item used for merchant quests or PvP and PvE encounters. They can be found randomly on any island that isn't an outpost or a sea post. The best place to obtain gunpowder barrels is in an active or inactive skull fort, which has an average of 9 gunpowder barrels, or on the rare occasion having 8 or 10. You'll also find some barrels within the treasure vault of a completed skull fort. These barrels can also be spawned via the gunpowder skeleton, and subsequently collected if the skeleton is killed without exploding the barrel. Gunpowder barrels can be sold to any Merchant Alliance vendor for 100 to 250 gold, and a small amount of merchant reputation at any point. Some voyages will involve the collection and transport of these barrels to select Merchant Alliance vendors, where you will be paid 500 to 1,200 gold and a larger amount of merchant reputation. Selling 100 gunpowder kegs on schedule will grant you the Black Powder Merchant Commendation and title. The Stronghold Gunpowder Barrel was added during the Shrouded Spoils update in November 2018. Red in color, it features bone support structures around it as well as skull and bone symbol with the Merchant Alliance logo on its front. When detonated, the Stronghold Gunpowder Barrel produces a massive explosion far greater than the normal gunpowder barrel. These can be collected from a completed skull fort vault and can be sold into any Merchant Alliance vendor for between 3,000 to 6,000 gold. There are currently no Merchant Alliance missions to collect these. Selling 100 Stronghold Gunpowder Barrels as a Pirate Legend to the Merchant Alliance will grant you the Legend of Black Powder Commendation and title. Both barrels can be used as a weapon or a trap with four ways to detonate them. These are lighting the fuse, which takes five seconds to detonate and instantaneously ceases upon defusing, hitting the barrel with a weapon or cannonball, impact from a barrel coming into contact with a ship or monster underwater, or the environment, such as lightning or geysers, which don't need to directly hit the barrel to detonate. The regular gunpowder barrel has a damage radius of nine paces from the center of the barrel in all directions. Nine paces is the maximum distance one barrel can detonate another. A player will be instantly killed up to three paces away, take 50% damage at seven paces, minimal damage at nine paces, and no damage at 10 paces. Ships will take damage when within nine paces and will always cause four hull breaches to appear. Multiple barrels will cause more hull breaches to appear, but these need to be spread out otherwise the damaged areas can overlap. Damage from the explosion can penetrate walls. The safest place to store gunpowder barrels is on the tip of the ship or in the crow's nest. Be aware that players can shoot these barrels more easily or they can take damage from the environment. However, due to their distance from the hull, they are unable to damage the ship. As previously stated, stronghold gunpowder barrels have a much larger radius, damaging players up to 20 paces away from the center of the barrel in all directions. A player will be instantly killed up to 5 paces away, take 50% damage at 10 paces, minimal damage at 20 paces, and no damage at 24 paces. Ships will take damage when within 20 paces and will always result in 8 hull breaches. Damage from the explosion can penetrate walls. Due to its radius and lethality, there is no safe place to store the barrel. Place the item in the crow's nest and sell it as soon as possible. When it comes to PvE scenarios, the barrels can be hit or miss. Any barrel will instantly kill any skeleton except for shadow skeletons that are not exposed to light before detonation. Depending on normal missions, Athenas or Fort, skeleton captains take between 1 and 3 barrels to be defeated. Barrels are best used against gold skeletons due to their slower speed. Simply gather them in water and shoot the barrel as they are all near it, or light the fuse and place it in front of the leading skeleton. Some random spawn skeleton ships contain gunpowder barrels that can be detonated with a well-placed can of shot. A player can use a barrel to jump over the skeleton ship, explode it below deck, and defend the hull breaches from the repair skeleton if your crew is low on cannonballs. A fun note on barrels and skeletons, ranged skeletons such as the blunder skeleton shown cannot detonate a barrel with the barrel acting as a shield for the player by blocking some of the shots. Explosive barrels are incredibly handy when it comes to defeating mermaid statues especially as a solo player. One barrel will destroy a sapphire mermaid statue, three will destroy an emerald mermaid statue, and six will destroy a ruby mermaid statue. Explosive barrels are next to useless in a kraken fight. 
please remember that the strength of the Kraken is determined by the size of your ship. Should you feel the need to use them, three to four will defeat one sea tentacle, while one explosive barrel will remove a tentacle wrapped around your ship at the cost of damaging your own ship. Like the Kraken, barrels in a Megalodon fight are next to useless. You are better off using your cannons to defeat the Megalodon or escape to shallow water if low on cannonballs. The health of the Megalodon also depends on the size of your ship. The bigger you are, the harder it is to kill. Nonetheless, we've tested trying to kill a Megalodon with only barrels multiple times on multiple megs. We have found the amount to be higher than 10, and we have come to the conclusion that this is an ineffective strategy and just ended up murdering the Megalodon with cannonballs. Some additional fun facts. Barrels do not stack in the water and will scatter in water if your ship sinks while they are in the crow's nest, resulting in what you are viewing now. You can actually shoot barrels through some objects, such as the bottom of the crow's nest, and they will explode, providing that they are directly next to or above where you shoot. With the crow's nest, for example, simply look up, fire, and you'll detonate the barrel. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. The members of Rogue Legends and their friends certainly have enjoyed making it. If there are any other ultimate guides you'd like us to make, please let us know in the comments section below. We are Rogue Legends representing the Pirate Council. Thank you for watching.